Chess Club is an activity that allows students to play and compete in chess with other students. Chess Club takes place in the library every other Friday during home base. If you wish to join Chess Club, just go to the library and sign in. If you're asking why join Chess Club, the answer is to train and improve your brain and thinking. You and an opponent play on an 8x8 checkered board, one white, one black. White will always go first. Your goal is to put the other player's king in checkmate. The king can only move one space in any direction. If the king is in check, he must be removed from check with your next turn. If he cannot be removed from check, it is checkmate and you lose the game. Pawns can only move forward one space, unless it is the pawn's first turn in which it can move two spaces. If a pawn is to capture a piece, it must be forward and diagonally. If a pawn reaches the other side, it can become any piece that was captured or a second queen. Rooks may move infinite spaces horizontally and vertically. They may not move through other pieces, though. Knights can move two spaces horizontally or vertically. Then, they move one space perpendicular to their previous movement. Knights will always land on the opposite color they were previously on, and knights are the only pieces that can move through other pieces. Bishops can move infinitely diagonally, and they will always stay on the same color. You start the game with one queen, but can get up to two queens. The queen may move infinite spaces vertically, horizontally, and diagonally. The vertical lines on a board are called files, horizontal are called ranks. The rule of en passant allows you to take a pawn with your pawn if the pawn chooses to use its first move to go two spaces, passing your pawn's capture space. Castling requires you to have not yet moved either your king or rook. If you wish to castle, you must have moved the bishop and knight out of the way. Next, your king moves two spaces and the rook will be placed on the other side of the king. Castling queenside requires you to have not yet moved king or rook. The queen, knight, and bishop must have all been moved out of the area. Next, your king will move two spaces over and the rook will be placed on the other side of your king. 